Hello, this is Fight Me, and in this video I will be showing you guys how to make one of the best army compositions for these four factions. Let's start off with Tylus. But before we're making these armies, you need to keep in mind that we're making these armies with the 1, 2, 4, 7 rules. So 1 art, 2 pikes, 4 missiles max, and 7 max of the same. So for Tylus, you should bring 2 Osrin, combined with 7 tribal warriors, because tribal warriors are the best meter unit in the game. Fill it up with 2 Thracian Peltas, because they are like Celtic warriors in melee, and they can do a ton of damage with their Pila. Fill it up with 6 Celtic warriors, get 2 Slingers to help you uh, with the uh, missile fight, and get 1 Levy Freeman to push up uh, your equipment with. And here you go, you're good for Tylus. And if you disagree on any of the armies that I'm making, which is totally fine, because that's the beauty of Total War, there's not one way to play a faction, let me know in the comment section what you should bring in instead or what you think is better and yeah that will help out the community to bring better armies play different etc so let's head over to rdi so for rdi you should get your four alien noble hoplites those are like your core your tank of your army fill it up with four celtic warriors because they're just so cost effective get six alien free spirits for the pila capability then fill it up with three extra alien for your spears then get one alien raider for the gorilla deployment and then fill it up with two alien hop, uh, hoplites because they got 105 armor for a 640 cost unit and they got expert charge defense but yeah here you go this is your army nothing more to say let's go to mercedesly on attack so for mercedesly you should bring four heavy new mini skirmishers because they're like the Thracian peltas of tylus but even better in melee then get four desert cohort because desert cohort are really tanky and they got uh, encouraged then get your seven desert legionaries fill it up with two slaves to push up the equipment with and get one gorilla calf to uh, gorilla deploy your towers and your tortoises and here you go you're golden with this army so for Carthage, i see a lot of people making a big mistake they bring the mercenary noble fighters but you don't need any elites with Carthage. get your mid tiers get your semites get your libyans get your scutari Fill it up with your good low tiers, like your Gallic warriors, they're just so cost effective. With your best archers, like your free Cretans, one Balearic. And with this army, you just don't need the noble fighters. You got a lot of Pila potential, a lot of killing potential with this army. So noble fighters are not needed. But let's head over to Tylus on defense. So for Tylus on defense, I bring only one Oswald. Get your seven tribal warriors. Fill it up with seven Celtics. Get again. 3 Thracian skirmishers and 2 slingers and you will get an easy dub with this army. Let's head over to RDI on defense. So for RDI you definitely want to have your 3 Illyrian Noble and Hoplite. Fill it up with your cost efficient Celtic warriors. Get only 2 slingers on defense. Then get only 5 Illyrian Marines. Fill it up with 4 Illyrian Furio Spears. And then get 2 Illyrian Hoplites with the like tank ability. And here you go. This is your perfect zero army for RDI. Let's head over to Musaisley on defense. So for Musaisley on defense I only bring 1 Heavy Numen Skirmisher instead of 4. I fill it up with 3 Slingers because Slingers can be really useful on defense. Get only 3 Desert Cohorts but fill it up with 7 Desert Legionaries. And then finish it up with 2 Lightning Minion Infantry and 1 Slave to absorb some Scorpion Balls from the towers. And then get 1 Numenian Rider just to be annoying in the back lines of the attackers. And here you go, this is your perfect zero funds Musaisley on defense army. Let's head over to Carthage. So for Carthage on defense, I bring the 5 times 3 army. I will show you guys why. So I bring 3 Semites, 3 Libyans, 3 Scutari, 3 Celtic Warriors, and 3 Cretan Archers. So here you go, 5 times 3. Then I add up 1 Mercenary Valeric Slinger and 1 Mercenary Abrian Swords. And here you go, your perfect, really strong army for Carthage. So there was a little shorter video. But let me know if you guys found it interesting or found it uh, inspiring to see some of these armies and if it maybe brought you some ideas. If you guys found this video interesting, make sure to check this video out where I'll be showing the best army comps for the poor other factions. So I will see you guys there. Bye bye.